Welcome back to Talk of the Town. Joining us now, we've got Jason Harder, who joins us from Hubbard Avenue Diner and Bakery. Welcome, Jason. Thank you. How are you today? I'm doing well, and yourself? I'm great. I'm very excited to have you. You've brought quite the spread we're going to talk about in just a minute, but very exciting news. An In Business Magazine has named you a finalist for Best Breakfast. And judging by the look and the smell, I understand why. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about that in a second. But let's talk about Hubbard, Hubbard Avenue Diner. What do you think it is that made you guys win this award that keeps customers coming in? Well, I think uh, we got people that, that come in um, just to try out the, the diner feel, the nostalgia that they're looking for. Um, and they come in and they get the, the scratch-made bakery, scratch-made dinner. Uh, and breakfast, and that just keeps them coming back and back. Absolutely, and I think that's an important part, the made from scratch. I mean, you guys are truly chefs and bakers, and this is homemade, you know, made right from scratch, made to order, and what a fantastic thing for folks who are going out to eat and have so many options to really be able to get that experience. And let's talk a little bit about, you know, the award itself and just some things you have to look forward to in addition to that coming in 2015. Yeah, um, you know, it's great to be finalists for Best Breakfast, I mean, with all the different restaurants around the area. Uh, that's a great thing to, to hear. Um, and then coming up in the next year, we have a few different things. Uh, we have uh, PIE Pie Day, which is in January, uh, to celebrate pie. And then in March, we have a Pie Day, PI Day, uh, which, which is March 14th. Um, to celebrate that, and we do uh, uh, three dollar and fourteen cent slices of pie that day. Oh wow! Okay, I love the play on the word pie, and you actually do these T-shirts too. So, if you heart pie, which I do, um, what a cute little thing! And you can buy these at Hubbard Avenue Diner. How how fun are those? So Pie Day, PI. Let's talk about the PI Day. Um, why is Pie Day such a big deal, or why is it going to be such a big deal? Um, over the last few years, it's gotten bigger and bigger, but this coming Pie Day is going to be the, the biggest yet because it's 3.15, one, sorry, 3.1415, so March 14th, 2015 ah, okay. is going to be like a big, big Pie Day celebration. Interesting. How funny that, that little date play there on play on words, play on the date, play on the food. That's so fun. So uh, we've got pie, the pie day, and then you guys are actually a member of or part of the Food Fight restaurant group too. So give me just a little, you know, snippet of that and how does that really help you guys? What does that bring to the restaurant? Well, we have uh, 17 restaurants, part of the Food Fight restaurant group, and it's kind of nice. We have, you know, our small diner but we have a central location to do the, the HR stuff and you know the paperwork and kind of that sort of thing. Um, and then just the big thing is like you can buy gift cards for all seven, you know, at any of the 17 restaurants and they work at any of them. So that's it's, it's nice, kind of nice, so. Yeah, that's a nice benefit for folks watching at home if there's, because you guys have several uh, great restaurants. You said 17, 17 that are part of Food ones. Fight. So, so these guys are no different a part of Food Fight, but everyone's got their own, their very own style and their very own restaurant, and, and that's what makes it sort of fun, too. You get to try different kinds of things. Now let's talk about, it's hard not to talk about some of the things in front of us. I've been smelling it the whole segment. What are some of your favorites? Let's, ha let's talk first about breakfast, because this is the, the uh, finalist the, for the best breakfast in Madison. Do you have a favorite breakfast? Uh, my favorite is the farmer's skillet that we do. Okay. Um, it's hash browns, eggs, cheese, and ham. You know, it's kind of something nice to get all mixed together, and, and it's just delicious. Absolutely. That's the one in the middle here with the two eggs on top, right? Yep. And the biscuit. Oh, my gosh. That looks outstanding. So tell me what other breakfasts you have with you today. Um, I brought a couple other favorites. We have um, the Breakfast Club okay. uh, with eggs, bacon, avocado, tomato, uh, with a side of fruit on that. And then also we have uh, berries and cream French toast. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Those are some big pieces of French toast. I love that thick French toast. And that sandwich looks delightful too. So, so delicious looking. I can't, I can't wait to give this a try. And I haven't been yet, so I'm very excited to, to try you guys out. And I know you're known for your pies as well. So talk to me about some of the pies that you brought today. Um, I brought three of our favorite pies. Um, in the middle here we have the French silk pie. Uh, which is very popular. Yeah. Um, we have the lattice crust cherry pie, 
um, which, you know, that seems to go over really well. And then everyone's favorite apple pie. Yeah, the apple pie. So we've got two fruit pies and then, of course, for our chocolate lovers, that's always a favorite. Well, what an exciting thing for you guys to have that finalist for best breakfast with all of the restaurants in the Madison area. Such an accomplishment. So we appreciate you joining us, Jason, and talking to us a little bit about Hubbard Avenue. Okay. And it's been a pleasure. So thanks. Yeah. Congrats to you. Thank you, and thanks for having me. Absolutely. Well, stick around if you're a pet owner. You don't want to miss the next segment. It's all next on Talk of the Town.